which was obviously the first one because of where we came from in the hospitality space or, or where we had, had started in the hospitality space was a uh, point of entry. And, um, and we call that firewall filtration. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty straightforward because as we started talking to folks, you know, they understand, they, they relate to the fact that we need to protect our computers, right? You know, it's been part of all of us. Like we've grown up and it's like, don't want to get a virus, you know, don't want our servers to go down. But at the same point, I would argue that the amount of mechanical equipment, the cost of maintenance on the mechanical equipment versus that one server bank in a building is equal to or greater, right? Sure. And yet we're just letting it operate, you know? And then one of the things we have found is the maintenance or the treatment sometimes could be as harmful to the equipment as the problem they're trying to solve. Um, and so one of the things that started down in, in Houston, which has been a big part of our focus the last 18 months, is this combination of bacteria in the water, particulate in the water, and iron in the water. And those three things have been the focus point of where we are today, which is firewall filtration, being able to take the baseline or reset the water quality in your building. Not because you really want someone every day to, to walk into the sink in the lavatory on the 18th floor and say, wow, I really enjoyed drinking that water and when I was done <laughs> washing my hands, right? It's not realistic for a commercial office building, right? right? But what's realistic is that we want to feed all of our mechanical equipment with, with clean, fresh, safe water for two critical reasons, right? One is you want the efficiency, right? You want the equipment running as efficient as possible. But two, one of the things that the technology does is if you think about it, we limit the contributing factors to biofilm. So it's mm -hmm. not that we are putting a residual in that's designed to kill biofilm, right? It's there already in a lot of these buildings, but there isn't an engineer I work with that doesn't agree that if we could limit, we can take away those contributing factors, especially when you look at it from a food source standpoint, right? Not to be gross, but bacteria needs food to survive, right? And so if we can take that food source away, at the same time, we're taking away the additional bacteria mm -hmm. virus, right? that's in the water, really, really powerful to the overall efficiency of a building. So that's first and foremost, firewall filtration. 